Well, hi everybody and welcome back to another vlog. Not entirely sure what number I'm on now. Anyway, I have been commissioned. I've been commissioned to make a cope for the Bishop of Chester. So he kindly came over last evening with his existing cope and from there I took a pattern. And this is it. It's fast. It's really quite something. And at the moment, I am just gluing together two sheets of spot and cross with some tacky glue. And then I will tape it down. And I don't know whether you can see, but the markings are here roughly around the exi his existing cope. So he's asked... Um, he came up with the idea that he'd like a lightweight one and not only lightweight but reversible so all fun stuff to deal with I have a finite amount of time in which to create this um cope and it is it's it's vast because it's the full length of his body and it drapes around his shoulders and it fixes across the front here and also there's a stole to be made to go with it. And I've just got a, a section here that I need to deal with. <laughs> oh. um, it's really quite a privilege to do this, but what I haven't got, <laughs> I've got so much to think about before I can even start cutting the fabric out. The way it goes is there's a whole width panel in the middle of fabric and then there's fabric for the outer sides and those have got it's all got to be seamed and pressed but I've got to do it twice over <laughs> it's not lined it's all got to be even and the idea is I'm going to bag this out and I don't know how that's going to go but I will give it my best shot and hopefully we'll come out with something that's looking really quite exceptional So the next job I've got to do is I've got to trace the cross multiple times. So what I've done is I've stuck it to the glass and now I'm going to overlay it with this uh, bond web. And what I'll do now is I'm going to trace that on. goes across the front wow hang on i think we're nearly there can i put anything extra through right that's the hood comes through and i think this is the last of the and this really is as i've said before this was a um required a a, a lightweight coat 
and my goodness me, it is just that. Um, um, wow. So now, I've got to go all the way around <laughs> and very carefully press this. And if I've got all my measurements absolutely spot on, and of course my cutting out spot on, that you won't see um, colour poking out either side of the coat. Um, and I'll put that in there. And then the buttons will go on. But I think if I get down. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I think this is going to be a triumph. And good morning, everybody. I'm on the home stretch now. Um, the gap where I bagged out is here and, I, and I've worked on this to make it absolutely spot on. And now I've got to stitch, hand stitch all the way across here. So without further ado, I shall carry on with this and hopefully at the end we will have one rather beautiful coat. So it's finished. The coke is finished. Um, just give it a bit of a shake out. Just checking I haven't left any pins in. That would be um, a little bit interesting if I had. Um, I'm just going to drape the coke over here like so. 
and attach the buttons on um, I'm really pleased with this but there's lots of threads that have to be made to disappear um, I am absolutely thrilled to pieces with this this has been a very special make for me in the middle of March my mum went into Gloucestershire Royal Hospital and sadly she didn't come out she went in with pneumonia and various other complications and on the 9th of April um, she passed away 